most of my work come from my personal experiences, travel, family activities, dinner conversations, remote places we like to go to, and the people we meet there. And those experiences are not always easy. I thought the book form was the perfect form to hold the two languages, photographic images and text. They are meant to be read as equals, like moving from one mental image to another like a dream. It feels like I stumble upon a story and realize it has been there all along. When I was working on this book, I thought of myself as a writer with images and words. What if I could write with photographs? And how does a writing happen with images? Making these images and stories helps me think about the difficulties of our lives. My new book, Dear Mother, which has just been published by Dots Press, came out of my experience of becoming a parent and raising a child. My daughter was born in 2017, and as it is true with many new parents, the experience was almost unspeakable, extraordinary, but at the same time, extremely ordinary and common. As an artist, sometimes a book or a project comes to me with a clear idea, and other times I live with a story for a long time until it reveals itself to me. Since my daughter was born, I have been taking pictures without knowing exactly what they will become. Most of the photographs are taken in my daily routines of interacting with my daughter, whether it is playing or having dinner, visiting her grandfather, walking in the neighborhood. But ultimately, the photographs are not exactly about any of those individual activities. But I think in the middle of these daily activities, an image would shoot up in the sky like fireworks. And that image seems to become its own entity, like a star. And I collect those images and start arranging them like looking for a constellation in the night sky. I think of this book as a conversation, and um, there are many conversations happening in this book. A conversation between father and daughter, father and mother, mother and son, memories and the present, Korea and America. What became clear to me about raising a child was that it was a constant reflection of myself, my own experience of growing up, old memories and discovery of new memories, my parents and siblings, and the complex emotions about them. It has been almost 30 years since I left my home country, Korea, and moved to the United States. I think it's about time to write home. <laughs>